Hi everybody, here we are again, and it's a Young's Harvest Bitter. Now it's not in the test glass, but we're here to talk about it. That's very nice. Just put it down for a second. Right, so that's the label off the can. It comes with a bit of bump, usual sort of instructions on the inside. So it's a kit and kilo. Right, so it, the ingredients in the fine print are barley and malted barley. Sorry. Yeah, no. Barley and malt extract. Barley, malted barley, water. Hop extract, dried yeast in the, sh in the sachet. So, barley and malted barley. Mm. Just chucking some barley in to the mash. It'll probably, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling, start drinking. So, let's have a look at it first had quite a nice head it does hold quite a nice bit of lacing on it pretty clear it's a nice amber color I'd say it smells like beer it's got that Yeah, multi sort of earthy beer smell. Move the tash out of the way of the laughing tackle. So then, what's it taste of? Right up front, it's a very pleasant mixture of sweetness and bitterness. It is quite a sweet beer. I'll check. I've not got my book with me. I'll put down below the final gravity and the starting gravity and all that sort of rubbish. Um, but yeah, that is very nice. It is really quite well balanced, that. Although it's sweet, that bittering, which, and the bittering lasts longer than the sweetness, still got the bittering going on now, that nice bitter, bitter style bittering, but with the sweet front end. That is very nice. There's, right up front there's that sweet, the sweetness which is like a, a caramel sweetness, possibly from, I don't know, crystal malt, caramel, something like that. It doesn't actually say in the ingredients, it's just a usual kit, we're not going to tell you how to make it kit, why would they? And there's also, right up front, along with the bittering, there's like a, that classic earthiness going on. A very nice beer, that. It's actually the base kit that I used for Cheshire Home Brews One Kit Challenge. I'll put it that in one of the end cards end cards, end screens, whatever they're called. Um, I'll link to that. And that was very nice. So, and I can taste this coming through on that. The elder elderberries did mask a lot of the flavours. 
heavy on the elderberry flavour, but that is uh, is very good. That is on the to order again list. For a single can kit, I would say it's medium on the mouthfeel. It's one, you're not going to need to add anything to it because you've got the bitterness there, you've got the hoppiness, it's a classic harvest bitter. What's it? Yeah. Just a classic bitter. Very nice. Yeah. Going to buy that one again. I'd say it's, it's quite well balanced. Up front, I think without that sweetness, it'd be too bitter. Because you get that lingering bitterness that would be from a heavily bittered beer. You know, the ones that you use like mm -hmm. up front and then it's dies back and it's quite nice. Well, that is nice all the way through. That is a good beer. Got wax all over the glass. Don't know where that's come from. Yeah, so Young's Harvest Bitter. That's a winner. So, like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Bye. Cause you